And we're back in the Stone Creek kitchen talking with Chef Quinn McCord of the Twin Arrows Navajo Casino Resort, just one of the many restaurants you'll encounter at the Flagstaff Food and Wine Festival next Saturday. And this particular New York strip, that's funny we call it a New York strip when it's raised it's right here in Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> we'll call it an Arizona nice strip. How about that? Um, this, is, this is one of your signatures, um, not just the dish, but the, uh, the purpose of how you create some of your meals and some of your dishes is that everything is local. Yeah, I wouldn't say try, everything, but not everything, you try but really we, hard we, we to really, keep it all we local. Really, we really do right try down to, the to buy locally and, and, uh, and sustainable products. It's, it, that's very important in this day and age. Yeah, absolutely. Now, um, I'm surprised that lamb is um, kind of a, a big item on your menu. Lamb and mutton are really huge with the Navajo. Yeah. Um, you know, and each menu in each of our restaurants has each, each one of those items on it in some form or other. Okay. In this particular product, we have, uh, it's a lamb burger. Uh, we actually um, cut the lamb with a little bit of ground beef. Okay. Um, just to take away some of the uh, some of the bite of the lamb. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll make it uh, a little bit more palatable for uh, a wider range of, of clientele. Okay. So what do you have in here right now? We have ground lamb. We have ground beef. Okay. And we're going to season that with a little salt and pepper again. Again, we don't want to get too crazy with the seasonings. Um, we're going to put in this case. We're going to put a little bit of mint, which goes with lamb, obviously. Uh, and we're going to mix that together. Nice fresh mint. Fresh mint. Now you yeah. try to do fresh whenever you can. Yeah. It smells good. I see we have one already grilling up over there. Our well, hand formed patties are the best way to go too. <laughs> they look too perfect that it looks like you bought it at the store. I agree. I agree. Too cookie cutter, right? Yeah. I love that fresh mint in there. It makes it look good yeah, too. That's a beautiful burger. Yeah. It's about eight and, a, eight and a half, nine ounces there. It's a little bit bigger than the wow. one that's on the grill already. Yeah. So we're gonna. Um, we're going to put that on the grill. And again, we're, we're trying to get the line so we get the nice look like we had with the steak. Right. And we'll, so we'll turn, we'll turn that steak a couple of times. And let me see how we're doing on this first one here. I started one a little bit earlier. Yeah. So we're going to turn that a quarter of a turn. And we'll, uh, while we're waiting for that, we're going to set with the roll. And we'll get, the, we'll get some grill lines on the bowl. I put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on the roll as well. Okay. So we'll put that on there so we get some... Uh, this, it's a brioche bun, actually, so it's important with a brioche bun. It has a lot of butter in it, so we want to toast that. That crispiness of the, of the bun is going to complement the softness of the meat. Oh, okay, and yeah. it's not going to dry it out? No. Okay. It's going to be a beautiful thing. No, he <laughs> says. <laughs> hey, I want to take a look at the sliders that you have for us um, that you brought into also on the menu. Now, this particular slider uh, dish is one of our, sp um, it's, it's our sports bar uh, menu. It's mm -hmm. um, so it's a great appetizer for the bar as well as having uh, a, a, as part of the sit-down dinner. Um, this particular item is, uh, is the, actually the ground meat that's left from uh, the, the better cuts of meat that you take off to do the steaks and, and what have you. So we have the ground meat formed into small two and a half, three ounce patties. Okay. And we grill that just like we grilled the other. Oh. And it's wonderful with a, with a roasted jalapeno pepper. Oh, I And bet. a brioche bun there again as well for the, some of the small slider buns. Uh, really nice dish. Re that really sells well. You have nice brioche buns. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> hey, um, let's talk about the uh, the uh, casino um, recently opened. Um, Re I, recently I know opened just last week. Yeah, that was our grand opening. We That's had a grand recent. opening party and how'd it go? Uh, oh, it was awesome. Yeah, it was, it was really fun. It's, yeah. you know, opening a hotel is really a lot of work, um, but the people that we've hired are fantastic and. Um, it's, it's really been a, a great experience so far. Well, you know what? I've heard a lot of great things about it already. I'm very excited to check it out. And when you're at the Food and Wine Festival next weekend, what are you going to be doing at the festival? Well, I'm, at the I'm actually doing a demonstration again on the Navajo beef. Okay. Uh, and we'll have the, the gentleman uh, from Labatt's, uh, our distributor as well, mm -hmm. out there with us uh, doing some PR work. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're also having two, two we have, also have two tents out there. We're doing, um, uh, it's a Navajo um, Sliced tenderloin on a crostini with chimichurri sauce, Ooh, uh, which is part of our steakhouse menu again, and also part of our food court. Uh, we're doing barbecue ribs. So that should be nice. Fun. And a lot of barbecue ribs. A lot of barbecue yeah. ribs. So what, what could be better than that? Cooler temperatures, some barbecue win, uh, ribs from Chef Quinn, and um, some wine. Beat the, heat, beat the heat and come up with this. <laughs> all right, and this is what your lamb burger looks like when it's all finished right here. What kind of cheese did you sprinkle on top oh, of that? That's feta cheese. Nice um, feta cheese. Beautiful. It goes with the sun-dried tomato uh -huh. uh, aioli, uh, which has a really great flavor, and the combination of all that stuff is really great. Ah, 
Well, thank you so much, Chef. Or are you, you're going to stick around here. for the rest I, of the of show, right? Because yes, we have to. Chef John uh, Connolly coming up too Looking to talk to more about it, and maybe we'll see you up there next weekend because that's that's we'll where everybody be. wants to be, right? Where we'll it's nice be. and cool. We'll All right, and fun. welcome to Arizona, by the way. Thanks, I'm loving. Good, loving. good. Well, we love having you here. Well, we've got more Thanks. information about the Flagstaff Food and Wine Festival on our website, SonoranLiving.com. Okay.